Hey y'all, it's Jen here. Welcome to Jen's Beauty Room. I haven't done a live tutorial video in a cool ass minute. So, um, I was abroad in California, or not California, I did go there though. I went to Colorado um, and I try to go to a makeup store everywhere that I go and I went, I got a sample of the new Dolce Rose, love it. And I also got the new Back Talk with the new Divine Lippy by Kat Von D. So, um, this is not a unique video, so if you're looking for unique, just back out now. And if you want to know about the new Back Talk blush and eyeshadow palette, then stay tuned for this video because I'm going to use it live. All right? Um, so if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button down below, click the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and you'll get all notifications. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and drop me that unicorn in the comments below so that I know you are here and I can go spaz and share all your fun stuff on Snapchat, which is lady underscore Cahill. So I will link below my other social media accounts so you can follow me and let's get started. So. The back talk is pretty neat. I do like it. Now, I've already done the rest of my face, eyebrows, obviously. I did my primer so for my eyes, and we'll just go right into this once we start. So this is the packaging. The box looks just like it, so I didn't keep the box. It's down there in the trash can. And when you open it up, it's got two sides. Okay, One is blush and highlighter, and the other one is eyeshadows. Um, in the middle, it's got a double-sided mirror that is removable. So you don't have to have it there, but it is nice for travel. So I would say this is probably going to be like my new number one for if I have to go somewhere. All right, so let's get started. I like to use a large brush to set my primer, and it's an illuminator brush, but I'm going to use the color three sheets, which is going to be that one right there. And I'm going to set my eyeshadow. So this is the first time I'm using or swatching this. This is my actual first impression of this. And... I'll just give you a real review here. I'm not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored. This is me. I buy my, all my own stuff and use all my own products. Um, I would love for somebody to want to sponsor a video or to send me something to review, whether it's makeup, food, anything else. I'll review whatever you guys want me to review, really. Um, so I'm a personal chef for hire. I have my own personal blog at a Wix website, Life of Gin. And yeah. So it's a little chalky, I will say that. It's coming off, um, like whenever I wipe it, it goes off all around it. So that's the first thing I'm noticing about this lighter color that we're setting with. Um, but it feels really good. I like the colors. I'm not really sure where I wanted to go with this today, so I think I'm going to start with like a pinky, this color back talk here. And I'm just going to go in on my lid, which I don't ever do first, but for some reason today I want to. The brush that I'm using is the Large Shadow Brush by Scone. I just got this brush in my Ipsy Glam Bag, so I wanted to be sure and use it. Do you guys get the Ipsy Glam Bag? And if you do, um, tell me what your favorite part about the Glam Bag is. I'm always interested to know. Um, I just have my one account that I do, but I know a lot of people do like two different accounts to see if they're going to get different stuff, which I guess is a good deal, but I really only use the brushes and the masks that I get in my Ipsy Glam Bag. Like I got the Pacifica eyeshadow, but it wasn't really what I wanted. All right. So I like it so far. I like the color. That's really nice. But you kind of get into the, um, let's see, there's one, two, three matte shades and five shimmer shades, as you can see there. All right. And I want to go like with the pinky colors, but it feels like I'm going to have to do a brown in the crease no matter what. Um, so there's not like a whole lot of color option as far as that goes. So now I'm going to grab, if I can find it, I'm going to grab it. Okay. I also got this brush out of an Ipsy Glam Bag. Thank you, Luxie, for loving them so much. And I've beaten it up. It's a 249. It's a dual-ended. So I like this end down here. It's kind of a better blending brush. I'm going to go in with the color Shimmer Attitude. This color right here. And the crease. So I have a hooded eye. I have to do my crease like with my eye open. If you'll see there. And... It blends out really nicely. I feel like it's the same color as the other one I just used, but um, 
just in a shimmer. So I do like this color. This isn't bad at all. <sighs> then I think I'm going to go into the matte what the fuck is the name of the color, like legitimately. They named it that. Okay. And I'm just going to bring this out and up on the outer corner here. And I'm going to work it in a little bit more down here. I'm going to switch sides of the brush here. Be a little more precise with it. Bring that into that kind of V shape. And then I'm just going to color it out here. So, that's not bad. Obviously, I'm going to go back in and like clean up what I mess up here. Uh, just to be clear on that. Now, I think I'm going to go in with this shade. This color right here. And I'm just going to go out to the corners. And just toss that color in there. I think that's a really fun color. And I think it's going to work pretty good for my eye. It's going to be the darker kind of depthy color that we do here. Alright. And then, and then, and then, and then, I'm going to go and get my Luxie Angled Brush. This is a 207 medium angled, if I can hold on to it. And I'm just going to blend these colors out here. Alright. I would say there's not really like a, um, color to use like underneath your brow bone in the palette. And now I'm going to go in with the Sephora. God, what is my ish today? It's a 41 drawing shadow brush and I'm going to go to the color back talk that I used on my lid here and I'm just going to go underneath my eye a little bit and kind of bring that look around. All right, and then I'm going to go back with attitude. I'm going to bring that about halfway down. And then I'm going to go in with the color shade out here on the corner, like we've been using. Match these two up to the outside here. I love this little brush because it's like perfect for hooded eyes. You can get that little bitty piece right here that you need to get and not really mess everything else up. Okay. So now, I think I'm going to use Curve on the lid, but before I do, I think we're going to go in with the Fair from Kat Von D here on the lid, and we're just going to clean this up. All right. And that way, when we put the color on, it really pops on the lid there. Kind of leave it away for that transition color to stay where it is. I'm going to pick up my same Luxie brush after I wipe it out here. And I think I'm going to go to this color called Curve. It's got a little bit of a lilac champagne to it. And I'm just going to pop that on the lid and blend it in pretty good. Okay. Alright. And I'm going to have to bust out some of my... Um, let's see, what do we do? We do, uh, maybe like a, yeah, let's just do the Too Faced. We'll just do the diamond here on the arch underneath the eyebrow. And we'll just get some of that on the brush here. I'll use the back side of my angled brush, and we're just going to go right in here. Alright. And, of course, you're going to blend it out so it doesn't look all super crazy. And then I'm going to take this color I'm going to touch right here on the inside as well. And that's going to be kind of like our highlight. Alright, now as usual, I'm going to go in and kind of fix up here. You can use foundation, you can use concealer, whatever you want. I'm going to use my Unique. Just put a drop of it on the back of my hand here. And I'm just going to kind of create the sharp point there that we didn't have whenever I was just free handing it to kind of clean it back up. All right. And then that'll give us the look that we're going for as far as like the sharp cut or it looks like maybe we had the eyeshadow shield on. And then I'm just going to blot that out. So, I'm going to say, like, my first impression of the Backtalk is really nice. Um, it's kind of subtle. 
It's really pretty though. Um, the colors blend out real nice. You guys saw me, they were really bold and then I went to blend them and they blended out really nicely. So this is none and then this is the back talk on one eye. Um, so far I like it. I will say, um, oh, well I didn't even think about this side. So we could use this side as the highlight. Let's check this out. Let's grab our brush again. I'm going to grab the Anastasia. I'm going to grab Party Foul down here. It's kind of like a highlighter color. I'm going to pop that right in there in that corner. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, so you could even use Party Foul like underneath here too as your transition color. And just kind of blend that out with your finger. Maybe pop a little bit right there in that part right there. And ta-da. So I really like it. I gotta say hashtag back talk. Way to go Urban Decay. All in one limited edition exclusive. So you guys want to be sure and get this because when it's gone, it's gone. They're not going to make it again. Um, and it's exclusive to Sephora. So um, for all my unique ladies, you can still go pick your quad. Don't worry about it. But I love all things makeup. I am a makeup junkie. So um, I would say this is definitely a go for me. I really like this palette. I would even say let's pop some of that party foul right there on the lid and kind of lighten it out and give it that little bit of shimmer that it needs. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so that's me in a nutshell. I recommend Backtalk. I would say go and get it. Keep it as an exclusive for Urban Decay. It's definitely worth the price for what you're getting. Um, and their other favorite of mine is definitely the Naked Heat, which they do have a new mini out. So you can go and get that if you don't want to buy the full size. So um, this is definitely a dope for me. It's a yes, and I think you should go and check it out. See you guys later. Bye.